EA Sports. It's in the game. What's so up, AJ? Back here at E3 2012. I'm with Josh Lumen again. We've already shown you uh, creating a coach in connected career modes, but now we're going to create a player. Yeah, let's go through the player process. You know, this is uh, uh, equally important to the whole connected careers experience. You know, obviously you can play in an online league with 32 of your friends. Uh, some of you can be coaches, some of you can be players. So this is a big part of that. Okay, so here we are at uh, the play career menu again, the main menu for connected careers. Once again, we're shooting off screen here in the booth at E3. But Josh, walk us through this. Yep, so again, you start at this screen where you choose to start your career. Uh, I'm going to choose to play offline. When I go in, I'm going to, uh, obviously you saw last time, the ability to choose between being a coach or a player. I'm going to select player. When I go in there, I have the same four choices. I want to have a game face. I want to create a guy. I want to be an active guy or a legend. We're going to go through and create a guy for the player portion. Now, obviously, these are all the different player types we talked about. So you can have five different types of quarterbacks. This changes what the guy looks like, what his initial ratings are. Um, Let's go with power back to start with. So this guy is going to look a little bit like Brandon Jacobs. He's going to be able to uh, run over people, that kind of thing, be a bigger guy. So after you choose to be the power back, you get to choose any team you want to be on. So I'm a big Lions fan, unfortunately, except for last year. So I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to choose Lions, and then you choose your backstory. Big thing with the backstory, I've talked about this a little bit. Uh, if you're an undrafted guy, you can choose that. Uh, your ratings will be a little lower from the start but your expectations will be a little lower too. So you can actually go through a couple years and uh, you'll have easier goals, that kind of thing, to get started in the league. If you choose a high draft pick, you're actually gonna have higher ratings, but your expectations will be pretty high. The first year, you're gonna be expected to do a lot, just like Cam Newton was last year. So if you're a low draft pick or undrafted, um, it's a little easier to grind at the beginning then, right? It is, definitely. You're gonna earn a little more experience points, your expectations, your season goal is gonna be a little bit easier, that kind of thing. So um, it allows you to kind of have a little bit of an easier experience. Again, I want everybody to be clear about this. Um, there's no microtransactions here. So if you want a little bit of an easier experience, you need to go through the undrafted thing. There's no way to buy your way to get better. Very cool. So at this screen, you're gonna be going through, you know, very similar creative player to what you've seen in the past. You can change your number, you can change your name, you can change your height and weight. Uh, you know, how big your arms are, if you want to be a big ripped guy, uh, it's really your call. Uh, whenever you're ready to go, hit accept and continue. Um, again, like we looked at uh, before, you can go through and set all the uh, options in the league if you're the commissioner. You'll be able to view these if you're not the commissioner. Uh, and again, if, you're, if you want everyone in your league to only be one player instead and, and restrict people from being coaches or restrict people from being legends, you can do that. Yeah, I think that's the really cool part of this mode because if you want to start an online league, go through and uh, have only three quarterbacks in there with your buddies and all compete as quarterbacks and go season after season and see how you do, you certainly can. Or you can do a mix of coaches and players or just players, just coaches. So again, tons of customization for people to be able to go through this and play it how they want. And again, you didn't change his name, but uh, it will say their name there, like Rich Eisen's talking about power back, but uh, they're going to talk about you on that Twitter feed. They will, yeah. It's, again, it's dynamic, it's personal. It's going to talk a little bit about your background and that kind of stuff and, and uh, where you come from, so uh, it's going to react to everything about you. So again, uh, we're looking at the, uh, the career progress screen. What this does, it shows you your season goals. Um, I'm only expected to get 500 rushing yards this year as a rookie. Uh, my legacy rank overall, being able to go purchase upgrades. So I showed everybody the coach one. I'll show everybody the uh, player one. Again, this is just buying the ratings that you've always had in, in Madden. This is your way to progress. Um, so you go through here and buy all these ratings and uh, if you get the XP to do it. So again, there's no microtransactions. There's no way to buy these outside of actually grinding in the game. Um, so if you hit left bumper, right bumper here, this actually keeps track of all your stats. So this is a quick way to go through and take a look at this. Career stats, season stats, you can see the standings, how your team's doing. So we're trying to give you as much information here as we can. Uh, and that, that'll basically allow you to come out of game, check things real quick, run back into game or practice if you want to keep grinding and keep going. Very much still a work in progress, Matt NFL 13, but connected careers already looks just awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're working hard on it right now. We're not done yet. Still tuning goals, XP, uh, tuning regression, retirement, all that stuff. There's a lot of new features in this game, uh, more work than we've ever done before. So uh, we're going to make sure it's perfect. We've got a little bit of time left, and uh, we'll finish it off. All right, thanks. For more E3 coverage, check out easports.com slash E3.